We distinguish between specific and non-specific back pain. Specific back pain is defined as pain that is due to a disorder of physical function. This means it can be shown that a specific structure in the spine has undergone pathological changes. These can be prolapsed invertebral disc conditions as the largest group. Here we think of invertebral disc herniation, where the prolapse can press on the spinal cord and cause symptoms. The second largest group of specific back pain is caused by fractures. This means spinal fractures, usually of a traumatic nature i.e. they are caused by spinal injury, but can also be due to osteoporosis. This means sintering, where the vertebral body collapses due to the reduced calcium salt content in the spine. The far smaller groups of specific back pain include tumours and infections, i.e. bacterial inflammation of the spine. Here, it is necessary to distinguish very clearly between this specific back pain, which only affects 10 to 15 percent of patients, and non-specific back pain. This is not based on any physical structural changes, but is merely muscular tension that can lead to virtually the same intensity of pain, but is considerably less harmful. We have to distinguish between the two. There are certain red flags, i.e. there are a few indicators that can point toward specific back pain. Pain that persists for more than 12 weeks is called chronic back pain. This should always be investigated by a specialist.